get all his hours of content. Yes, family, but money time by here, driving through Jonesboro, Georgia, and I'm here with my special guest. Mass Quasi, Go Hard Gambia, Quasi Boyd on Facebook. All right, How are so. Lives this evening? Brother, so tell us about that Go Hard Gambia. Go Hard Gambia, YouTube Go Hard Gambia channel. is, you know, a real perspective from a brother that, you know, faced many challenges. You know, like we're on the front line of this war, this spiritual war, and you know, as far as a black man and woman here in America. And, uh, you know, Africa is an outlet for us. So I give that view, that raw, you know, I'm from the tri state north, northeast. You know, I'm around my people. My people crazy. If your people crazy, you know, then you can relate to me. My, I, my people, I'll be like, calm down. Are we going to be all right? My brother told me the other day, he said, I got a mean. I don't know whether to bring a piece or a gun. <laughs> I said, you might want to take both, said. bro, but I ain't coming to that uh, meeting. You're talking about Connecticut, right? That's what you say, Connecticut, right? but I think that's just the mentality of just uh, us as a people. I mean, how far is this from Bridgeport? It, it's not far. I got friends in Bridgeport and, uh, you know, and it, it's a, it's a uh, you know, like I said, you know, I came from that, you know, check my YouTube uh, channel. I, t I talk about my brother who was killed and... Um, I don't want to just tell a one-sided story, you know. He's definitely someone who was uh, known. He was notorious and things like that. Who, he, his story unique because he was brilliant. But he had, you know, my dad wasn't there. And he, uh, at an early age, he just went to the streets. And, and he uh, and he survived shootings. And uh, he just didn't get enough until uh, the third time that he got shot was the end. Wow. So, you know, anybody, and then I end up getting shot. If you if you come through that, you know, and you can relate to that, then, and you're looking to go to Africa, we're trying to get away from that. Right, serious. You know, so that, that, that's, that's, that's that go hard Gambia. You know, I lived in Atlanta. I lived all up and down the East Coast. You know, the DMV, I lived in Fairfax, Virginia, DMV area. You know, uh, of course, Connecticut. I got family in Jersey. I got, you know, I lived in Toledo. It, so I've been all over the states, and I have a wide experience. I lived in Puerto Rico, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, and I'm an entrepreneur. I have my own business for 20 years. Even prior to that, you know, my work history only extends just a couple years. So I really understand, you know, uh, you know, I came from a, a background of, a, of hustlers. You understand what I mean? But 29, I changed my life, and, uh, and I was able to go to Atlanta well, here. I lived in Atlanta. I love Atlanta. My Atlanta people, what up? You watching from Atlanta? My Connecticut <laughs> people, my Tri-State people, my Bridgeport people, people all over. My Gambia people, we here, we in here. You take me get something to eat. Last place you hungry. Yeah, we're about to roll up to, you know what I'm saying, to that, uh, get some, some tropical Jamaican food, you know what I mean? Plant get something fried, like, plant uh, you know what I mean, like some red snap and some rice and peas and some cabbage. Yo, I get, I got, things I get, like, 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 what are you looking to get, here, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, we'll get some more wheat, man. We'll get some jerk chicken and anything, bro. Yeah, I'm going to lose it when I go back. And that when I went over there, I lost a lot of weight. And then, yeah, you know, we, I was able to shave off some of the, uh, you know, uh, vices here. You know, uh, I was speaking to one of my cousins, and we were talking about alcohol, alcoholism. And then, you know, All right. uh, alcohol, alcoholism, drug abuse, you know, uh, it's... Our, part, our community, a part of our community has uh, in, in the 80s where we saw the worst of it and uh, what it did is it killed our community even before right, that with serious. the heroin epidemic and all of these this is you, you have different war you have chemical warfare okay so you you know you have financial spiritual warfare but you know it's been all of this we've been devastated on uh, uh, every front right. you know as far as the community here and we've been replaced you know like uh, <laughs> my fair where I'm from Fairhaven New it's largely Hispanic now, you know. They came in in, in in drops. Now, you know, they they cover the whole the whole community, and we're talking about. Oh, cool! The Mexican take over on you, man. What? Not even so, here, and it's a part of the plan. everywhere, I mean, man. Uh, power economics. You run from California to Georgia, you run into the same problem, and that's what I'm talking about strongly about black economics, about putting your money together, building communities, building investments, and. You know, building a stronghold. Other than that, you're just going to be a consumer. Yep. And people are going to come in your town, your community. And, you know what I'm saying, next thing you know, the cost of living or the way of life and everything goes up. Or, like people say, a.k.a., they price you out. I love them words. Price you out. Yeah. That's a dirty, dangerous strategy. So, it's like, 
Are you gonna keep on running from hood to hood, or are you gonna establish yourself, put the foundation down? Yeah. And that's what we're talking about, brother. Yeah. And that's the importance of us right there along that entire coast of West Africa. Right. Go hard, Gambia, brother. Go hard, Gambia. Africa for the Africans. You know, um, brother. You know, at this point in which we're getting, we have to go through uh, this story. It's a storyline, but it's a glorious ending. It's, you know, it's a, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. All right. real and it's <laughs> a spiritual real thing. Right. It's a spiritual thing. And it's rewarding in that, you know, you can free your mind and return to the land of our ancestors. Something that we've been told against from generations. You know, the first Africans that they brought here, they slaughtered the men so that they can have full control over the women. So that the women could produce a simp, right? All right. Uh, a simp, okay. Right. Gotcha. And, and that's what, you know, right now they just, our community, they erased any uh, manhood. Even all of this machoism and all this gangsterism, you know, I've, I've been around a lot of people, man, and all they were was hurt at the core. And, you know, early, early on, I was like, hey, you know, I'm not that hurt to go out there and hurt myself and be in jail for 20, because I wasn't going down in, under the ground. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, early on, I, I, I got smart. You know what I'm saying? I was like, but I was still dealing amongst a lot of uh, violence and murder and, and, and things like that. And, you know, and drugs and a, a whole bunch of drug dealing and things. And um, I've just seen, you know, the, our people get, you know, put through that meat grinder, man. Even so, myself, you know, we got blood on these streets. Like when um, King killed Abel, you know, he, the God said, hey, I hear your brother uh, blood calling on the ground. And, you know, right here in Atlanta, you know, I spill blood here. And the, and the tragedy of it is my daughter, man, I, my children have the life that I wish I could have had. You know, they've traveled all over the world. They've been homeschooled largely. Mm -hmm. You know, we, you know, they, they grew up in Atlanta from where I'm from, New Haven. I wouldn't even bring my children back to New Haven. You know, they wouldn't even understand yeah, it. Yeah. It's just so small and, uh, you know, so... You know, and, and then and then then to Orlando. We live in Orlando. That's Disney. We live there. They've been to Disney. They've been to <laughs> Universal. World. We took them to Disney like what when they were kids, man. And, and time go fa fast. And what are we gonna do? What type of impact? What type of legacy are we gonna leave? You know, it's already known. Generation X. It's that's it. These unisex, you know, uh, <laughs> children. That's, I mean, I don't know what they're doing. I ain't down with it. I'm going to Africa. Yes. Serious brother, African nation building. So, yes, family. Get some land. Bomani and Kwesi Boyd here. We're just rolling up to. Man, we here chilling. You know what I mean? About rolling Getting up. some tropical food and things. You know what I mean? About to park and put our order in. As you're ready to, for the Caribbean cuisine, are we pulling right up to the front? I'm here family? with the man. I can't believe it, man. It's an honor to be in the, in the presence of someone who actually. You know, uh, produce. He, he he talked the talk and he walked the walk. Now we about to walk in here and get some um, some food. Yes, family, and that's how we do it, family. You know, you know that same style. It's all about Black Power Nation building, family. And you know, we're gonna show you where we at. Hello, people, people. Hi. Look at us. There you go, family. Look at us. So, family, we're here. Yes, family. This is my brother right here. There's a special guest. Mass Quasi. A special tired guest. I've been traveling, working. I stay on the computer. Oh, you can see me. <laughs> there you go, family. Beige, beige Rolling family. together. Look at this. I saw this is a place you came to before. Oh, uh, no. I don't think I've ever, ever okay. did any videos you know, right here, one? but I'm going to show people real quick before we cut. Okay. There you go, family. And let me see the sign up here. So yes, family, this is the Jerk Palace. We're about to go get us uh, some good Caribbean cuisine and enjoy a nice tropical dish. So family, the journey continues. Stay tuned as Brother Bomani and Kwesi Boyd give you more of our connection to the motherland. We're give some more there song. you go, and he's rocking that shirt right there. So there you go, family, see? Join us next March. That's March 30th March 30th. to April 10th. 2023 on a journey of a lifetime 
to Senegal and the Gambia. It'll change your life. All right, back up one more time.